I'm Mr. TapTap, and welcome to Let's Play Cats Are Liquid. A true, actual fact. A review cup of this game. Let's probably make a video about Itch.io. It's really great. Do we have controller support? We do not seem to. I have no idea how this game plays. I just know that it is based on actual reality. Turning into a liquid is a thing. The cat. All right. Still moving. All right. So, the cat had been going through the maze-like rooms for what seemed like forever. It just seemed to be continuing. Ah, I see. Ah. So we control kind of like Gish. Yes, we do, Parker! I think I like Gish more than almost anybody else. Her owner started acting weirdly and locked her in here. This game's giving me ideas, Parker. I won't say why. It's giving me ideas. That is... Sorry, that's a bit loud. Right, 30 is what I usually use. I'm not sure if you can see my volume meter. Oh. Ah, hands on the wrong keys. Alright. So he wasn't exactly sure why he was acting like that. Eh? Strange. See, this game is a puzzly game, I think, about a cat that can turn into liquid. So yeah. He said that the cat reminded him of someone. We've got... Do we have a story going on? I wasn't... Oops. Let's try that again. Alright. I wasn't quite expecting story, but that's fine. I just couldn't remember who. Like Gish, maybe? As soon as he entered the room, she was the floor. Orange triangle. Ow! No! Okay. Ah. Seems to be if you get... Okay. Even this lighting is reminding me of Gish. Um, I have a full let's play of Gish, actually. It's very old and kind of bad. Like, very old. Like, God, five years, I think? It was on my original channel. She didn't like them. She didn't like the spiky things. These things hurt. They suck. That's a checkpoint. She didn't know why. Oop. Because they're spikes. Woo! Woo! Cat has some very unusual physics. Big Gish, if you haven't played it, um, you probably haven't. Um, it's one of Edmund McMillan's games. Um, also by... Um, published by Chronic Logic, I believe. I'm not sure if they're still around. Um, she knows that the entire floor is covered with those orange triangles. No! Not the orange triangles. Oof. I was afraid we were going to erase this. Oh, God. Um, yeah, in Gish, you're a bar of tar. A bar. A ball of tar. And uh, you can be slick, sticky, or heavy. And you sort of manage your body in lots of interesting ways. And uh, this game's physics and control options aren't exactly the same, but... Gish has this gooiness and sort of climbs slightly up walls. It's very important, and uh, this game has something very much like that. I wonder if this was Gish inspired. Maybe I should have read the read me and stuff. I, I just got an email, and it just seemed like my sort of thing, so I didn't really research it too much. Sometimes it's, ah. Oh, sorry, I forgot my laundry is going on, so. This video will be guest starring, oh god, guest starring my uh, washer. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, I used to be able to noise remove for that with, in Camtasia, but I'm not. If anybody is an expert in, oh god, if anybody is an expert in not dying, I could use your help. Um, if anybody is an expert in Sony Movie Studio, I could actually use some help with um, pretty much all of the audio options I'm not sure what to do with in that program. Like, I want volume leveling, for the most part. Uh, I'm just not sure how to do it. It's doing its loud spinning. It'll... It'll be done soon. Whee! This is an actual thing cats can do. If you, uh, if anybody's more of a dog person, this is just an actual thing they do. It's just... It's nothing unusual. Just do not be alarmed. Do not taunt Happy Fun Cat. Oof. 
Oof. Something I always felt really proud about in Gish was managing to use the... Like, this game is a lot more forgiving than Gish in terms of clinging to walls. Gish does not cling to most walls without being in the sticky state, and then it's only some walls. Um, but in Gish... Ah, there we go. It, it gets a little weird when you uh, wedge yourself halfway into those slippery tunnels. But anyway, in Gish it can feel really satisfying when you use Gish's half liquidity to um, edge out the win. This level seemed to be repeating itself. There we go. Yeah, kind of. It seems like there's some sort of weirdness when you're halfway in the slippery thing. Like when you're I think it's when you're moving too fast when it goes into it, like it's not expecting you to do whatever. And gravity affects you differently when you're water, which isn't quite, but whatever. It's gameplay, not, you know, reality. It's fairly common for games to, uh... I just realized that it's like, it's snowing from my face into the game. Similar, but different. This poor cat. It's like trapped in puzzle land. Finally, something different. Squoosh. Squoosh, I said. Squoosh. Yes, up. Squoosh. Yes. Ah. That was so satisfying for like two seconds. And then. Then it was ruined. All is lost. Ah! She saw something in the distance. Something that moved. Oh no! It disappeared when she jumped on it. Boop! Yes! Die! Die, orange things. Die. Ah! Also, it's good on this game for going with an orange versus blue um, color scheme. Lots of things go with bad things are red, good things are green. That's very not colorblind friendly. And, uh... Color limited vision is uh, actually pretty dang common. I think it's something like 12% of men or something. It's like, it's a lot. It's more than you'd probably think. Whoop. But uh, with the most common, oh, I forget the exact name of it, but with the most common form of colorblindness, red green colorblindness, um, you see blue, um, and you can see like red, green, and. Um, like, red and green both look like the same, like, yellowy sort of thing. Well, I mean, you wouldn't really know it as yellow. It's just, you know, they look largely the same. Um, but so blue and yellow slash red slash green is the uh, ideal contrast there. Excuse me, Mr. Box. I must murder you. Oh. Sorry, I, 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 mean, I meant I would spare you. That was deliberate. Whoa. 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 Go on the wall. Okay. I'm not sure why you can absorb those. It hasn't really been gameplay relevant other than getting them out of the way. Okay, good. End of the level. She saw the ocean of orange triangles. Right. I think... I think washing machine Chan is finished. She felt scared. Scared. Woo. Wee. Woo. Aww. This should just be a really tall shaft that lets me do that. Oh. Oh. We got balancing. I like that we can push it down by being liquid. Sort of add some fun to it. <laughs> we can absorb those, but why? But why? We have to be jumping to do it, too. It's like... Oh! Ah! Take that! Like, makes Atari sound effects. Alright. Slip up in there. Wedge spacebar in there. That's right, all the way up in there. Oh man, I should play Revenge of the Sunfish again. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing that. Maybe I think I'll do a live stream of Revenge of the Sunfish again sometime. If you think that, that's a good idea, let me know in the comments. This review is a little bit weird and only went horizontally. Yes, we know you're done, frickin' washing machine, Chan. 
such an attention seeker. Whoop. Whoop. I like this horizontal only room. Ow! I say as I wedge my face into spikes. Though I'm all about the spikes, honestly. Spikes get a bad rap, but you know, just because they, you know, crush bones and organs doesn't mean they're all bad. Maybe the next room would only go vertically? It's, it's like Metroid! She noticed that she was correct. Oh, in my video. I guess I was doing a lot of things before I started this video. My uh, video just got encoded. The one who designed it must have run out of ideas! <laughs> yeah, the original Metroid. I think it. I think the original Metroid is only vertical and horizontal. Like, I don't think you can do both at once, scrolling. Um, lots of NES games are like that. They, it's way easier to make them scroll one way. And like way back then, even getting smooth screen scrolling was like a major technical achievement. And like, um, I think it was the Doom, like the id software guys that made this, um, they called it something in copyright infringement land or something. Like this tech demo of just to get smooth scrolling working on a PC. Because, like, you take it for granted now, but smooth screen scrolling back then. Big deal. We are. I should have known. I should have known as soon as I saw that. Ugh, it's like Sonic. I want to go fast, but that's like, nope. There's a thing there. Gotta go fast. Gotta cat fast. These orange triangles were jumping. We Look at the kitty! Look! This is how cats work. That was new. I kind of love the physics in this. They're oddly satisfying. And you can go fast! I want to see the speed run now. I'm no speed runny person type, but uh... I'm not sure this would make it to AGDQ, but uh, I really do wonder what kind of, like... This seems like it could have really good speed tech, like... Because your maximum speed is pretty dang crazy. Um, excuse me. Like, look at this. And that's not even being liquid. You go faster when you're liquid. Like, look at... You could do some amazing stuff in this, I think. Oop. I like speedruns. I just... Ah, I never... Actually, I've, I've said this several times. I just don't really have the time. I'd rather, I'd rather see tons of different games than master just one. Because uh, that's what... I, I've been trying to make this a bit more clear, but really the point of the channel, even, is I want to show people cool things that they may not have heard of before. I... Oh! New mechanic! Well, not really... <laughs> like, this is so... It's so neon. It's like, um... It's like we're on the Vectrex or something. Sometime when I have more time and money, I want to collect all of those weird game consoles, like the Vectrex, uh, ColecoVision, all that weird crap that, you know, nobody talks about anymore. The Vectrex, in particular, oh wait, there was a... <laughs> I really like this, this is cool. Um, the Vectrex uh, could only display vectors. Oh, it's over. It's raining now, though. Ah! The color's changed. Ah, yeah. I'm glad there's some, some aesthetic switch up. I was... I was getting a little bit tired. No! Doomed. Okay. I was getting a little... Oh, can I restart? Ah! Wait. Oh no. Hi there! <laughs> if you scroll too high. Excellent. Okay. So you get to Steam is also a thing. Wait. Okay. Crap. We just got spoiled. I'm sorry. That. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad the aesthetics and stuff switched up. I was getting a little teeny bit bored, but I wanted to push through. I tried to give at least 15 minutes. Um, and whoop. Times like this, I'm really glad I am. I do, because... You know, sometimes games take a bit of time to get going, and when I'm just doing quick shows, I don't always get to fully appreciate stuff. Um, I have been trying... This was interesting, she hadn't seen a ring like this before. Um, I've been sort of... Tr 
thinking of getting back into doing more full game or maybe at least showing more than just one video of games. If nothing else, it uh, would mean you know more consistent comment content. What do we do? What just happened? Hold Q. Hold Q. I see. What? Hmm. How? <laughs> the cat was panicking. Oh, that was the door. I was like, what? This this is not a twist I expected. I guess I should have expected because the cat looks like a cloud. But we're, we're not just lick. We're not just water. We're steam. We're Half Life Three confirmed. What did that thing do to her? Wee! Why did this thing do it to her? Whoop! We've got to climb the bosom hills over here. Okay. You can still collect. Why can we collect these? She hadn't done anything to it. I don't know, cat. This seems pretty cool. I wouldn't be freaking out. It's no longer raining out of my face. It's raining out of kind of the background. It's raining out of the top of my monitor. Like, perspective weirds me out um, for the rainy stuff. The cat had calmed down. She thought she now understood her new ability. <laughs> Those Atari sound effects. Wait. Can you hurt these? I bet you can't. I knew it. I knew it. I just had to confirm. Maybe it wasn't that bad after all. Wait, is that a se is that secret? Is that some secrets? Nope. It is not some secrets. We gotta go. Ow. Gotta go. Ow. Gotta go. Painful. Ah. It had already proved to be useful. We. Oh man. I'm. I'm now. I'm wondering if there's like a whole bunch of different powers. I'll go through this one more world legit, and then I just I just want to peek at the next world level to see if we can continue to what? What is this? What is what? Okay, let's just let's just pretend we didn't see that. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. This level felt a lot more open than the previous ones. What is this? What is this? It's fuzzy. Maybe it meant. She was getting close to the exit. Wee! Exit time. Exit time for everybody. Ah! Why am I not clinging? Whatever, I'll just be steam. You can't move left or right. You can't control your movement very much at all when you're steam. You can go slightly left or right. Um, otherwise, you just go up at a steady pace. Whereas water, you have pretty much full control. Wee! weird if you're if you're already holding down when you start oh i almost forgot about the steam thing if you're holding down when you start fall already when you start falling you uh don't get the downward speed boost it's kind of weird the cat saw the liquid like ah yeah definitely don't touch that because it was orange and orn all orange hurt her yeah, orange is terrible i Honestly, if you eat an orange, you are a bad person. Ah! Take that orange. Why is the music getting louder? It's making me suspicious. It didn't actually turn. No, it didn't actually turn up. It just is louder in the game. All right. Ow. I'm glad that this game is slightly forgiving because uh, going fast is so tempting and uh, I would be really sad if I died every time I got hit. She wanted to get out. Oh, and because of things like that. I think three is a really good amount of hits with the amount of checkpoints. I think the balancing. I mean, maybe it's a little easy. It's a, it's definitely on the easy side, but I mean, this is only world two out of what were there like eight on the menu list? I didn't look exactly. There was a lot of different rooms. Or worlds, or whatever. Wee. Ah! Every time! That's just such a sonic game design thing. This room was tilted. I noticed that. It's, I like this. The, the physics. It's... It's sometimes a little hard to... Oh! 
I guess lava being instant death makes sense. Sometimes it's hard to fully appreciate physics from watching a game, but the physics feel just quite good. Wee! Like that. Oh, that is so satisfying. Just slip past it. Nope. She mostly just ignored it. Who cares about slantiness? Woo! Except for the orange slantiness. Oh, God. So that's just a spawn portal for basically anything. Oh! The orange things died to orange, too. Oh, no! Checkpoint, please. Or a door. The door to works, too. She's getting tired of these rooms. Get out of here, room. Nobody likes your style. She just wanted to get out. She wanted to get out. Just let me live my life. This reminds me of that. There was a room just like this in World 1. Or at least before this one. The upward climb, but we didn't have the steamy powers. We didn't have the powers of Gaben. I wonder if poor Gabe Newell just absolutely despises that. Ah! No, no! No! Back I went backwards. Alright. Yep. Pardon me? Ah! No! I'm not I'm not taking that hit. I refuse. Okay. You gotta be careful because there's a sea of an orange down there. Just freaking orange. This, this disgusting orange drank. Oh god. Okay. Okay, we gotta stay in the bucket. It's a huge lake of orange liquid. She felt scared. Look at how fast we're going. I love it. Okay. Okay, wait. Steam cat. Steam cat's so slow, but whatever. I love the sideways door. All right, we out of this world yet? It's so steamy. Another lake of orange. Oh, sad kitty noises. Okay, respawn already. It's not. Oh, I can save myself if I hit Q. I just come on now. Even if restarting isn't frequent, um, I do really appreciate instant or at least very close to instant respawns. scared this time because I got steamy steamy powers Boop. all right <laughs> I love doing that it's just like gosh it's like haters gonna hate I wonder if this cat touched Garfield if it would like just they would cancel each other out. Where are these jumping things? I just went under them and continued. She really wanted to get out now. I see the exit, but it's not gonna be that simple, is it? It's never that simple. Yeah, I see you, Lava. Yep, I knew it! I knew it would turn left. Woo! Aww. Oh. What is the orange thing doing? Maybe the next door would be the exit. Seems unlikely, given the number of worlds we saw. I do want to see... I want to see at least one more world. I think this, got to, this has to be close. I love how this level, like, the particle effects and stuff makes it, it feel steamy in addition to, you know, just having steamness as a power of the cat itself. Okay, we gotta be careful. Nah! <laughs> We have to be careful because of that. Wee! All right. No carefulness this time. Oh god. Okay. All right. No, don't forget you got Q. Okay, we're done. All right. It's another end of ah. I guess the end world or the end of each world is always like this. This is how the world ends, huh? More yellow than orange in these. But I guess it doesn't change much. Okay, steam. Steam doesn't even change your color in this. Wait. Nope. Oh, hey, there's a little save your butt platform if you try what I did. 
That's good thinking. I figured since the things were going up, that had to be the, the right way, but the color's changed again. All right. We'll see if there's a new gimmick. And... Ow! What? what? The big ones? Okay. Whatever. Oops. Come on. Okay. We'll see what the new gimmick is. And... Well, I guess it's about time to wrap up the video anyway. But we'll cons We'll decide whether to continue the video based on... Or the Let's Play based on what I get. And just my mood in general. Oh! Come on! Right before the checkpoint. I really do wish the... Like, if pretty much that entire fade to black, like, once it's faded to black, that's already time that I should have been respawned, in my opinion. I don't... I think they're a little too slow. So rude. Not fun! Zero out of ten would not recommend! It's not really humor focused, but I do appreciate the little bits of humor we got here and there. I still don't know why I eat those blocks. Oh, I forgot those are insta kill, and I figured it would stop for some reason. I don't know why. None of them have stopped. Ooh, clutch. Jumping up walls feels so good. Woo! So does that. Anything where you go fast, it's just going fast in this game feels good. Ah! Except when it involves spikes. Ah! What is this? Whoa! Whoa! It bounces! It prounces! As long as it didn't hurt her. Except it can. It doesn't give much force. The rain is going up now. Can it bounce steam? Yes, it does. This doesn't seem physically possible. No, right, so we don't get new abilities, but we do get more. Well, <clears throat> we do get more um, gimmicks, like more level design elements, not quite gimmicks, but you know, whatever. Weird. Those things bounce off of the... Whoa! Whoa! Okay. It depends on the velocity you are when you hit the blocks. And if you're liquid, maybe it's just if you're liquid. No, it's, I guess it's just speed. feels so good to do that, but now there's instant kill. I was enjoying the three hits. I, I explicitly called that out, that I was enjoying the three hits. Oh. Ah, come on. Okay, we'll finish this one level. I think we get where this is going. I'll take a look at the world names. I'll take a look at this one, and I'll spoil the next one, and then the rest will be secrets. Oh, fucking... I hate swearing on these, like, otherwise very kid-friendly games, but I can't... I can't help myself, and I don't really want to... have to go back and edit everything. I don't really mind swearing, I just don't want the channel to be like, Haha, this guy is funny and mad. Maybe this was the exit. Of course not. Of course not! Okay. Wait, I want to see if that thing is bouncy. That's all I want to see. Come on now. Come on now. The user interface seems kind of oversized. Like... Oh, it's not bouncy. Whee! No, it's just this color. This thing's blue. Um, okay. Well, two, turning into steam is also a thing. New things to interact with. And we're going to spoil world four. A gray square. Oh, so you can't skip ahead. Hi there. 
Ah, World 9 is the exit. Okay, so yeah, there's obviously a lot more in that game. I... Escape doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, that is Cats Are Liquid, a game based on reality.